Hey, just stay for a minute. Lay your body on the bed, spend a day or two in it. If I hit you on the road, then I'm tryna get in it. You my baby, you my girl, so you all in my business. Late like, night doing shows on the road with my niggas, smoking pound after pound, keep a polo to with us. Hey, I'm so into you. Hey, little baby, I'm so into you. Thought I'd ask back. Let me text you like, hey, yo, what's up, the subscribers? Listen, y'all, I'm back again with another reaction. Now, I dropped a video to the new artists I just found out about below. And it did pretty good on the channel for the first video, uh, well, second video of them. So I'm going to keep this going. One thing about me is when I find new artists that I like and the channel likes as well, um, I start binge watching them. That's how it happened when it became a Swifty. I was watch one Taylor Swift video and then bam, watch 40 some plus more and still watching them now. Um, so I found this group named Flo and they go crazy. And you guys told me in the comments to do the um, live version, not my job live at Vivo. So I'm like, okay, let me check that one out. Cause I already did two music videos. So I was like, okay, let's throw a live on there as well. I'm gonna also make a playlist for this group. So that way you guys can always see the playlist so you can figure out which one it is. But if y'all new to the channel, please press that like, comment and subscribe and let's get to it. Let's see where Renee, Georgia, and Stella gotta say. I'm telling they give me 2000 vibes so much. Let me pause it real quick. I swear. Okay, one thing about this group from the three songs I've reacted to, there's no leader out of everybody in this group. Usually when you see a group, you will see who's the dominant one that takes over everything. The song, the video, everything. You will see who go be that magical one that can leave at one point in life. But with this group, I think the first one I did, uh, Stella started it. And it was the one they just dropped a few days ago. What was it called? I forget what it was called. Uh, <laughs> um, Walk Like This, actually. That's what it was called. I did Walk Like This, and Stella was leading the pack. And it was fire. She was doing her thug thizzle. So I'm thinking it's her group. And then you guys let me know. You feel me? It's a full group. They've been out for two years, and they all fire. Then I watch Fly Girl. And I feel like when it came to Fly Girl, Georgia was doing her thug thizzle a little bit. And honestly, they all was. So I can't really say anyone takes over. So I like how... It's no leader in a group, and every one of them is just fire as the other one. Because that makes me want to watch it more, and then that 2000 vibe is just a different kind of story with it that makes me even love them even more, because they go crazy to have that vibe. My 90s, baby, I keep telling y'all. Okay, so what this song is giving me is Beyonce's, uh, not Beyonce, Destiny Child. Let me not disrespect him at that time. Destiny Child, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? This is what this vibe is giving me from this group right here in this song. This is just their version in 2024. That's what I'm getting right here with this song. Because they basically talking about an ain't shit N-word. I say we ain't gonna be cussing too much on this channel, you know what I'm saying? But uh, a man that ain't got nothing going for himself, and she said ain't vulnerable, it's not her job to basically raise you into a man, you know what I'm saying? So they, I wouldn't even say they disrespecting nobody, you know what I'm saying? They out here, they being respectful, letting y'all know, you feel me? They telling you from the jump, if you go talk to them, don't come in here as a little boy, come with your shit straight, because it's not my job to raise a man, that's your mom's job. No disrespect, Miss Lady over there, you know what I'm saying, the moms out there, but that's facts. I like this. This is giving me that Destiny Child's Bills version right here. You know what I'm saying? Just stay own version. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Georgia.
she said, don't be acting like you man enough. Some, some. What did she say? It's not my job. She said she resigned. <laughs> how, how would you feel if somebody broke up with you and they said, hey, listen, I resigned out of this relationship and just left? Not just, hey, I want to break up. She said, I resigned. That basically means she thought this was a job. <laughs> this wasn't a relationship. It was a job. And she ain't get paid for her time. She resigned. But off the rip, I like them. Each person so far that had their own little shine and spotlight, and they all done killed their own verse and stuff. And I like how they're giving the aspects and talking about, I feel like with them, they're more women empowerment because they always put on for the females and the women. And when they do their songs, it seems like, like Fly Girl, that was a girl song. You feel me? For the females. Walk Like This, it's another female power song. You feel me? And now this one, they basically letting it be known. They don't want no ain't shit, niggas. You feel me? People who ain't got their stuff together type of dudes. Um, and when they got a raise to be a man and none of that. You know what I'm saying? You damn near got to come correct. <laughs> they giving me that 2000 vibe because this is how music was in the 2000s. You can really understand what's going on with the song and what they portraying and talking about. Now you listen to some music 2024. They talking about a whole lot of shit. You got Sexy Red. <laughs> Man, <laughs> hey, yeah, each his own. <laughs>
Yeah, time out. Listen, y'all, press that like, comment, subscribe. It's the Wavy Boys. I hope y'all enjoy this and um, keep them coming. Let me know which other one you want to see next because this group is fire. So, yeah, it's the Wavy Boys.